Hi there, welcome back. Hi. Right, this um, today we're going to concentrate on the three wire tension tensioners that basically are going top, middle, and um, bottom of all the fence posts. Okay, so let's get on with it. Right, so with my trusty measuring stick that we uh, use for all the posts, I've marked on the three holes and I'm just going to measure across. It's not an exact science, but the bottom one. The first time he's used his crimp. And then I'm using these little cotter pins. I'll start from the bottom, poking through there. Use this little pin there. Now I've been using that to measure bend it slightly. So just put that onto there. And then right, this is a post that's been in a while. Um, all this horrible section behind is not us, this is our neighbour, so this is what we're trying to protect from. But uh, I'm going to utilise the same post. So, uh, pretty sturdy, this one is cemented in. going to go inside of the post but outside of this one it's only a short section this one All right. basically trimming just enough to get it through all right so just going to put him straight in little nick over and then with a spanner okay not too tight to begin with that'll do for now all right now onto the others That's it, all three done on that. That's the last section. That. After put, putting the full tension on, I can't touch it because I've just oiled it. This end post started lifting from the ground and we knew yesterday it was our weakest post. It was, so, it was our first post and it was so hard to sink because we hit the natural stone layer. So, we've come up with a solution. We have one concrete block left over. So the plan is, I've just dug out a trench to the footing of this one, which is part of the shelter. 
We're going to sink that in here, directly next to the wooden post. Ian's going to mix up some cement, concrete, and then we're going to set in oh, a piece of angle iron to brace across here and butt up to the concrete block which will be there. And that should be a solid fixing for this post because also the importance of this post is we're using this as a small gateway from the vegetable garden section into the main field. So I'm hoping this will work now. Hi, so. welcome back to the Righty Groundhog Day. This is the third attempt at this one post Ian's working on now. Why we didn't do this first time round? Oh well, it's one of those things, it's tested our patient. So we have done away with our wooden stakes which we're using for the fence posts and we've actually been and got a proper treated gate post because we're having a gate attached to this uh, Ian's just fixing the stay on and this time it's got 50 kilo of cement yes a little over the top but this after the third time it's going nowhere plus we sunk in a metal rebar that is attached to that one now so yeah this shouldn't be going anywhere so finally we got the wires in on this uh, horrible post. It has a nickname but we shan't show Yeah. So I've got the, uh, the extenders and I just drilled through my support because it, it did look a bit neater the one I did by, uh, by mistake. So just finally oiling it all up, even though it's treated, we're whacking this uh, engine oil on everything. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so the next job, I'm gonna staple the wires, even though they're at tension, I'm gonna staple them all along the posts. Just received this stapler, just received it off the postie. So uh, hopefully, and it was uh, pretty, pretty cheap. And most of the time, I, that's the reason I buy them, but uh, I, don't, I don't want any crap. So um, I did buy some extra staples and they were the same mark. So um, I'm hoping it's, got, it's not too bad. So it's a stapler and a, a finishing nailer. Um, it's got some little brads with it and the rest are all different size staples. So I'm just going to give it a go.
They're doing lots of work in our village to replace all the old overhead cables, electricity and telephone, to put in them all under the ground. And the guys are working our side of the village. And as you can see, they're pulling out wooden telegraph poles. And we've just profited by having three of them. The guys are putting them in the field for us. users for future projects in the field. we just got the uh, telegraph poles from are just removing the final concrete post from the village. All our cables are now underground so uh, they've removed all the overhead cables plus all the uh, lamp posts too. That was pretty good find those three so we'll be putting those in as fence posts and uh, gates posts. I wish I had that auger which is on the end of that uh, high ab. I would have made light work of the other fence posts we had. There she goes. She's still at it. So we thought we'd better uh, Get rid of the bonfire before our fencing uh, goes up at the fires. Oh, he loves me bonfires. Cheers.